Hello friends, Andrew here. I'm super well. well um, I'm super. I'm super happy to welcome you on this video. And in this video, I want to show you how you may install WordPress uh, just by using Docker and Docker Compose. So let's start. Uh, we are created a simple project and uh, let's start from creating our Docker Compose file. Uh, first of all, let's define a version. It will be 3.9, the last one, and the services. Mm, we will have actually two of them. Uh, the first one is our app, and the second one is our uh, database. Uh, our app should depend on database just because we, for example, can't uh, install WordPress until we don't have our database running. And let's uh, define our database. So for this, I will use some MySQL image. Let's see what do we have here. Let's use this 8.3.0. This will be MySQL 8.3.0. Uh, let's expose some ports. Uh, also, let's define a volume because we don't want to uh, lost our data if we. we stop our container uh, and then we should set some environment variables mm, let's check which variables do we have so we have this mysql root password this will be let's use a real simple one like well actually actually let's create a file Just because you know we, if it will, it will be a, if it will if it was a real project, you don't wanna show your uh, environment variables inside Docker Compose because usually Docker Compose can be in some repository. So for these purposes, we use uh, env, which usually is ignored in the, in the Git. Uh, let's set our env file. This will be our env. Yeah. And now, what do we need? We need MySQL root password. So this will be a variable. We need MySQL database. So this also will be a variable. We need MySQL user. And uh, my SQL password. And now let's set these variables inside our env. So uh, root password. Let's use you know very simple, very simple values. My WordPress DB Andrew and password. Let's use also Andrew. So this will be our database, and here we use this volumes. So this volume. So let's uh, define this volume. Our Docker Compose. Volumes and DB data. And now let's define our app. So we want to use some image of WordPress. And here on Docker Hub, I found this 6.3.6.4.3. Uh, one Apache image. So let's 
Is it? So it would be WordPress. Uh, let's map our application. Let's create a folder for it. And app should be mapped to our HTML inside inside the container. Let's expose some ports. Uh, what else? And we need also some environment. Let's solve an env file. And we need to pass some environment, just some environment variables, just to, you know, to, to pass, for example, um, to which the database host should WordPress talk to. And things like that. Basically, database credentials. So, uh, WordPress DB host, this will be our database service. DB user, uh, we may use our uh, MySQL user. DB password, we may use our MySQL password here. And for DB name, let's use our MySQL database variable. Yep, and I think that's it. So we have our ports exposed here and here. Uh, volumes patted, depends on database. Mm, okay, let's give it a try. Okay, so now we have our container with our application on this uh, URL in my host machine, so let's just open it. Here we have a WordPress installation, so let's install WordPress. My awesome website, Andrew, woo, woo, woo. and the password also, Andrew, woo. let's confirm this big password, this is my email, and let's install it. Okay, so we obviously we installed WordPress. So now if we go to this, we have our website, and of course we can log in here. So you see it works. Thank you for watching and. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I really much appreciate it. Thank you for watching again and happy holidays and goodbye.